Hello, everyone. My name is Tim B. Green, and this is Crush It Club, episode 68. That's 68 videos in 68 days. Succeed faster by failing faster. Now, I wanted to use a longer title, but there's only so much real estate to keep this in a square, which is so that it's appropriate for mobile and not just not just um, computers, desktop computers. So the title was actually going to be slash is succeed faster by failing forward faster. So the essence is, is in what I just said. It's a matter of moving forward in your failure. If you're going to fail, which you will, um, just fail better and fail forward. That is learn from your mistake. I also thought about uh, saying, um, Uh, succeed more by failing more. Same essence, but people, uh, time is probably, in Elon Musk's words, is the ultimate currency, and it is. So I went with faster because speed is more valuable than just more. If you get more money, you can't get more time. In this case, I decided this was the ideal picture. I saw my girlfriend today, and I asked her about how long it took her kids to um, learn to walk and it gave me an idea then I looked online so it could take up to as much as a year for a kid to go from standing all the way to walking with reasonable skill or proficiency so it might take a lot less than that but up to a year now I've talked about this with my students in English and this is really the essence. So this is why I chose this picture. Yes, she's cute, but what is she doing? She is either has just fallen down or is just trying to get up. The essence of learning to walk and the fact that all kids are basically lacking the knowledge, but instinctually they're basically perfect scientists. They try something, they don't worry about it, they think about the results, and then they try something different. They modify it based on their experience. That's empiricism. Don't know why we need to learn it in school, except for the fact that it's taught out of us by most school. So that being the essence, think of it this way. How many of you as adults would try something every day for a year and not quit? If children had the same crappy mindset as adults, and yeah, I did say crappy mindset. If children had the same crappy mindset that adults wind up having in most cases, we would all have a, a crawling society. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have, I wouldn't be sitting on this ball. I would be kneeling on the floor and maybe, or maybe sitting seiza, which is a Japanese way of sitting on your knees and sitting upright. But whatever it is, if we put adult mindsets inside of children, they wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't be striving for up to a year to not suck at walking. And it's only my guess that they would try every day, but it seems logical. And from what I know of kids, I don't have my own kids. I've never, I don't, I've never, I've been an uncle for a very long time. But I've never been with kids 24 hours a day to watch them uh, walk, which is the reason I asked uh, my girlfriend about this and why I asked because she has kids and also re reference to the Internet. But the bottom line is we would be a society of crawlers if kids didn't have better mindset about this than adults. So this is really the whole message and the whole thing for this episode. Succeed faster by failing forward faster. Do what you're going to do to the best of your ability without fear of failure. Obviously, we're not talking about life risking kind of failure, but that's the thing. Adults don't even want to make slight embarrassing failure in private, let alone in public. But the main thing that holds adults, humans, other than genius humans, which are usually 
two to four or five years old and, and then it falls off a cliff. I've seen it all the time with English, with everything, right? Young kids, they don't mind if they fail or they fall down. They don't care. They know they, maybe they're at, their mindset is, well, we kind of suck at everything. So it's all uphill from here. But whatever it is, whatever they're thinking, if they, in fact, we can even use the word mindset for them, they don't have failure, uh, fear of singing, of failure, of looking stupid. That comes later when they start thinking about what other, other people's opinions are. So, yeah, I guess you could call it beginner's mind. Let's call it child's mind instead. The mindset that they have and the fact that they're willing to simply fail repeatedly over and over for up to a year just to learn to walk. Imagine if all adults took on that mindset. Think about that. Imagine if all adults said, well, I'm going to do something for a year every day, knowing almost certainly that I'm going to keep on making mistakes for most of that time, but it doesn't matter. I'll just keep trying. This isn't what adults would do. If adults had to face the idea of walking again, and you see it, you know, like in rehab and that, they really have to get somebody, their uh, physiotherapist or whatever has to be really supportive because adults are more like babies than babies when it comes to walking. It was like, well, you know, I tried five times and I can't do it, so I should quit. Feel sorry for ourselves when we can't do something immediately. And it just shows our tolerance for challenge. And that's especially bad when you talk about some things that I've, I've beat up before and I'm going to do it again, like atomic habits. Let's make it so easy you can't fail. That's not really the way to make people of any caliber better or greater. So do it. Succeed faster by failing forward faster. That's everything for today. This has been Crush It Club episode. 68. Did I say 86 the first time? There you go. I failed. Oh, no. Do that again. This has been Crush It Club, episode 68. Succeed faster by failing faster. Succeed faster by failing forward faster. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.